Hi, my name is Lance Tam, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make enemies follow your player in Game Maker Studio 2. So, first you want to start out with your room, and you want to place your objects for your player, and then your enemies, however you want it. And then we're going to come over to your player, and you're going to make sure you have your movement keys working. So. As you can see, I can move around, but right now the enemies are just standing there being useless, so we want to fix that. Now, you want to come over to your evil dude object, and then we're going to add a create event. So basically, now we're going to assign a variable to the evil dude named SPD. Uh, for the speed of the evil dude towards your player. Now we don't want to type the full speed because that's going to bring up a separate built-in var variable in Game Maker Studio 2. So we just want to keep it as SPD and then we can assign it a value like 3 <clears throat> and then we're going to come, up, come over here and make a step event and we're going to go over into instances and check if an instance exists. So we're going to set this to if the big man object exists and then we're going to come over into movement and set point direction to the right of the if instance exists block. See we want to put it to the right of the blocks because we want this to only happen if big man exists. If we put it like this, then it's just going to occur anyway. So now you want to set your x and y in the direction of the player. So we can just say obj big man dot x to do it in the x direction of big man, and then obj big man dot y to put it in the y direction of big man. So now we also need speed for our enemy guy in the direction of the player. So we can just put SPD in the speed box because we already made that variable over here. And then we also need one last thing. So we're going to come over to instances and then set instance rotation underneath the if instance exists because we want this to happen either way. And we're going to set this rotation to direction, which is this. So your evil dude turns in the direction of big man. So now if we run the game, we can see that the enemies are following your, your player now. And they're turning towards him as you move around them. Alright, thanks for watching and have a nice day.